Hi and welcome to another Type with me. This week I want to talk about Cypress commands and TypeScripts and how to solve certain problems within your application and when you want to uh, do and do end tests with Cypress. Thank you very much and let's go! So when we go to our Angular application and you have something like this, a cookie consent pop-up, well whenever uh, you go to an application, uh, you need to give this consent, right? And that's okay. It's something that you need to do because, yeah, for, for legal uh, actions, right? But you don't want to have it uh, sitting aside your tests, right? Uh, because that pop-up comes over something else that you want to click on and so on. And whenever you uh, want to execute a test, you don't want to click on a refuse or agree button or something like that to just get rid of this pop-up. So uh, again, when we do here uh, agree, like this for example, you get here consent, uh, cookie consent true, right? And when we now refresh, you will see that everything works fine. And we can just go to, um, to our website. If I just delete this, and so whenever a Cypress uh, test is going to be executed, he will delete and clear the local storage. So he will, whatever it takes, get this pop-up. And that's not great, right? So for that, it's great to create some kind of command so that you can do a before each and then execute that command, right? So when we go to the Cypress folder, of our project you'll see here that i have before each where i did a visit of our url but you can do that with having something like this a base url http slash slash local host so we don't need that anymore because in our cypress.json file we can just put a base url so i'm going to put that into command right. then in support we have our commands so first of all, I'm going to rename this to words index.ts. And then I'm also going to do that for uh, commands. So I'm going to rename this and I'm going to put here .ts, right? <coughs> then I'm going to add a new file at cookieconsent.ts.commands.ts, uh, right? And I'm going to put the following code. So I have here a function. That function has a cy an, an cypress or cy.window.bend. So when we have the window object, we can do window.localstorage.set and we can set cookie consent to true. Right. So that's something uh, great to do. Right. So um, this add cookie consent is something that I'm going to add to my commands. We can very easily do that by doing cypress.commands dot add cookie add cookie uh, consent uh, consent comma and then do that function, import it, right, and then of course you want to yeah, use it, right, the add cookie consent, so what you want to do is do cy dot add cookie uh, consent, but then you see that TypeScript is complaining, it says property add cookie consent does not exist on type cy and event emitter. So that's annoying. We need to tell um, TypeScript that it is there, right? That we can do that on, uh, on the Cypress global object. So how are we going to do that? Well, you have a lot of possibilities to do so. You can add these typings in a separate file, but I like to uh, keep it in the same directory. So what I want to do is put here a declaration for the add cookie consent so that TypeScript knows that it is on the CY uh, global object, right? 
So what you can do now is just do declare global, then namespace Cypress, interface chainable, because that's Cypress of chainable. And then you can say that on that interface chainable, we have the add cookie consent, and that's of type of uh, add cookie consent. So, and the type of add cookie consent is just an error function with, with a void, right? So that's that. That's it. And now you see here that he knows that it is um, on the uh, Cypress uh, chainable. And now you can do add cookie consent here, right? So one of the things that I want to do um, here is um, just add this in two comments, and I want to execute that you so that you can see that we have still the uh, cookie consent pop-up. And then I'm going to add it, and then you'll see that the cookie consent pop-up is not there anymore. Right. So let's go to another app here. Do npx cypress open. And now it's going to Execute Cypress and he is going to give us um, the Electron app of Cypress, right? Now, here I can say that I want to run it. So he's going to run it, right? And of course, it's going to fail. Why is it going to fail? <laughs> well, we need to go to our um, application right so instead of having here uh, these uh, cy.visits I need to have here this it's not because we have defined our base URL that we still need to do or, or not do visits we still need to do a visit so all right great so let's open Cypress again Nice. Execute this one. I hope you are still with me. You're almost there. Um, so now he's going to visit it. And here we go. You see here that we still have the um, the cookie consent here. And we want to get rid of it, right? Right. So what we could do is just copy this one. Copy. I'm going to do here paste and then of course we can say rename without copy action and then I'm going to remove copy here and I'm going to uncomment this one so when we now going to ex execute this bit mpx cypress open, you will see that well we are not all, all uh, we are not there yet. But it's important. It's something that a lot of people will uh, look into, and yeah, you can search a lot of time. Why is this not working? Why? Maybe you already know that, but you see, we still have. Our cookie consent and why is that well first we visited our website and there was no cookie consent and i don't know if you are going to see this already but i think so I'm going to check application well and then here on, on window and the window is already there we put our cookie consent to true and so you will see oh there is already a cookie consent why is this the case that I still see my cookie uh, window, right? Well, it's because we need to change the order. First of all, we need to set the uh, the uh, local storage cookie consent to true, and then we need to visit our slash. And why can we do that? Well, we already set in Cypress.json our base URL, so he knows our base URL, and he will put within local storage the cookie consent to true. And then, of course, he's going to visit our application.
application. So when we do MPX Cypress open, I hope you are still with me. Well, if you like this, well, please give it a thumbs up. Um, and um, you will see you're almost there. We have now a website with no cookie consent here. So that's great, right? I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, well, please subscribe to my channel, look to other videos, learn, because it's all about learning experience, right? And then here you see we have our cookie consent to true, right? So thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.